What's up YouTube? All right, today we are going to work on the timing chain, the timing set, and the oil pump. All right, the first thing we need to do is, well, we're gonna take off the oil pan. I know that the oil pump pickup tube is bolted on the lower bolt. Uh, there's two places where it could be bolted onto the oil pump. If it's on the upper one, then you can, you'll be able to unbolt it and get the oil pump and tiny chain off without lowering the oil pan. But because this one is on the bottom, and of course I gotta get ready for the sticky stuff, I'm gonna flip this over and take off the oil pan, or the, oil, yeah, take off the oil pan. Durr. All right, well, since this engine sand when I bought it didn't come with these bolts, I bought these and they're a bit too long to be able to just rotate them over. So I guess I'll take the oil pan off like this. All right, well, to take the oil pan off, there are, there are one, two, three, four, then there's another one under here, five, six, seven, two in the front, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And I had the covers on here also that I had to take off. I'm gonna take the rest of those off and drop the pan. A little more difficult getting it off when it's sitting there dangling and gravity taking it but looking through the oil pan I'm not I'm not finding any shavings or anything like that so and it looks relatively clean so that's just one more indicator that this engine should be okay let's take a look underneath the engine itself really hard to see the pickup the windage tray that all looks good all right in order to get the pickup tube off you have a 13 over here and then up inside here right here is a 10 and that'll allow you to pull the pickup tube off from the oil pump I'm gonna take that off first that way I can then put the pan back on and then worry about changing the oil pump and the timing chain. If you were just going to do, I'd say if you're just going to do the, the timing chain and oil pump, it might be a good idea yeah, to take this off unless you could get to it from the front. Just lower this down get this uh, pickup tube off and then take your, ti take your timing set off and the oil pump but also because I am changing the Desiki, which has a different oil pan and pickup, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off and, and uh, then I'll put the stock pump back up until I'm ready to do the, just the Desiki stuff. All right. 
right, we got the pickup tube off and you can see it has the gasket and we're not going to use this anymore but we can see it's pretty clean it's actually pretty small I thought it'd be a bit bigger but uh, yeah we can disregard this and I went ahead and put the nut back on the windage tray because the sicky one will end up being in a different position and this way we'll, we're all ready for it now I gotta take the front cover off and then that'll allow us to take the oil pump off to get to the timing set. Think about it, I don't actually, I don't have any need to have the, the oil pan drop now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put some of the side bolts, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back up and put some of the side bolts on. That way we keep it clean and I don't have to worry about anything. Uh, then once we get the oil oil pump on we get all this fixed then we'll go back to uh, put the sicky stuff on and then it'll be all ready to go All right, to take the front timing cover off, you have 10 millimeter bolts. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you have two underneath. Got the front timing cover off. The oil pickup tube's already off, so we can take off the oil pump. The oil pump is four 10 millimeter bolts. It broke loose and get them off and it's keyed from the crank and we'll just slide it right off. I can see that underneath this uh, oil pump there are two screws to allow you to add to allow you to add a timing chain. I mean you can see how much slack there's a little there's not so much because it's kind of tighten on this way but there's a good bit of slack so we're gonna have a timing chain guide I'm not sure if the one I have will actually fit um, but we'll check uh, I'll have to measure the distance and width and then check the timing chain one if we can it'd be nice to be able to just bolt it right on otherwise we got to take off this uh, camshaft pulley or camshaft gear and then do it from there. But let's get it off and see. Everything that I could tell from the engine so far is that it's been really clean. I mean, it's been sitting a little while, so it's a little dry, but there's not you know any doesn't look like overly excessive wear or damage on anything which is really nice uh, I've seen some where they come out and it's all black and all burnt and things like that there you go the oil pump just slides off just like that one of the common failures on these is here Basically what happens is that if there's enough oil pressure, this spring has a little, uh, like a pin with a spring and it'll push down and it'll allow it to come uh, through this passage, which basically bypasses right back down into the, the oil pan. 
and sometimes this gets hung up or stuck and if it gets hung up or stuck open uh, you get no oil pressure at all because it just keeps circling right back down uh, so this is one uh, common failure point in these uh, stock oil pumps as you can see here these are the two holes that I'm referring to if we can get the I got to check the the guide if we could get to here and it actually fits then I could just bolt it in right here and I'll be the timing chain guide the, the guide it's a plastic piece that comes this wide so when under high rpms it's running running and then you let off the clutch or you let you push in the clutch or you left gas that sudden stop slaps these things forward and if it hits hard enough it could actually slap the uh, the chain and then end up breaking the chain all right i put the oil pump bolts back in here just so i don't lose them i don't have to keep track of them um i'm going to take this uh cam gear off but before i do that i want to go ahead and put it at top dead center that way when i put it back on i know the position to put it in So go ahead and rotate this around. There we go. Check it, see if you can see it. If you look really closely, you can see the gear there. The bolt there, it's a little bit off. I need to back it, turn it around. Just a, just a smidge. See this look lined up. Huh? Good enough, all right. Now the cam gear bolts, 10 millimeter. All right, let's get these bolts off. I don't need quite so long extension. Those are pretty easy. I got a new timing chain I'm gonna put on it's it's a single roller. I'm not messing with a double roller, but it uh, all the links and everything there looks like a good timing chain. It's just a I can't remember the brand. I got it off of a a Corvette shop here in uh, Georgia, uh, MTI Performance or MTI Racing or something like that. I got it off them and it looks like it's pretty good. All right. Should just be able to shake it off. And there we go. And if you were, it doesn't look like it's in that bad a shape. But I mean, I'm already in here, might as well change it. No sense in keeping it if I don't need to. As you can see, this is the, the cam, and this is where you line up here. So it slides in. You get that in there. And that allows, allows you to have them in there. For now, I'm just gonna put those in there. I'm not going to put the, the timing chain on yet. It's getting a little bit late. Light's getting a little bit dark, so I'll come back in the in the morning and, and work on it. That's one advantage of having a garage is you just turn on the lights and keep working into the night. Just got those finger tight and top dead. I want to be careful not to rotate that at all. And uh, 
I'll put back the uh, front timing cover. I do have, like I said, I did get a new front timing cover because this one is just trashed. I'll just put a couple bolts in here. Or I'll probably put them all threaded lightly because I don't have to keep track of the bolts. Well, I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, I got the timing guide up here. And it looks like looks like it might fit. That right there is awesome. There was, they did have an adapter plate where it, it came from the cam, you put it on here to cam and it, you could end up bolting it on. But this bolt knot, I mean, this just bolting in, that's awesome. 2004 Pontiac GTO LS1.